So it's all good and uh, it motivates you because uh, you know more so you want to participate more after that and you want to do more for the city. Especially you live in the city. I've been living in the city for 10 years so I really want to be part of it. I just moved back to Everett after eight years of living on the East Coast. So I was born and raised here but kind of wanted to get back into my community and learn what Everett was about from the inside out instead of just being a resident and kind of learn how it's run. So I moved to Everett in November of 2016. I'm a relatively new newcomer to the city and bought a house here looking to get invested in the city and, and really get settled and involved. Um, so I heard about Everett Essentials and I thought that would be a really great opportunity to kind of get more oriented to my community, learn about what some of the needs are, try to figure out ways to plug in with some of the skills that I have, hopefully get involved in you know boards or commissions, community groups. I just think it's great that the city's opening up to this and allowing people to learn about what to do and how we can give back. Um, I think it's kind of been a kind of a secret to most people that we want to, but we just don't know how. And so having this as a brand new kind of thing, I hope that it continues so that others can do it too. Uh, you don't know what you see until you see it. So once you start to see the city more often, at the inner workings or just visiting the city and different pieces of the city, you start to see, oh, that's a place I've never been. I didn't know we had that here. Like we've learned the senior center the other day. The place is pretty large, they got a lot going on. I'm very surprised. It's pretty interesting, all the things we're learning. I was looking on about all the different ways you can volunteer, and so I was just kind of figured if this would give me a better understanding of things and where I might fit better if I were to volunteer to do different things in the city. It's so helpful that the speakers who make it interesting and like the Forest Park face-off, super interesting, a really engaging way, like I just love it, it's so great. I really like the Senior Center, obviously that's closer to my heart than some. But I enjoyed it and I did not realize they had all the um, resources available and all the activities and it looks like they probably could use some help so they have an advisory board um, position available. I'm definitely learning a lot as far as what it takes to run a city and all the people that are involved so far. Yeah, I've seen a lot deeper down the rabbit hole of what's going on. Uh, basically you being an insider of the city right now, you know how uh, budget being set, how uh, financing being funded, how uh, decisions being made. So it's really um, a big effort they do when they do those stuff. We never thought about that. We learned about the police, we learned about the fire department, we learned about the animal shelter. So uh, lots of sides of the city we have not been exposed to before. And now we know a little bit much about them. There's a few things I'd like to follow up on that I have kind of connections that I've made during the course. One example is the police department that we toured. I got in touch with one of the officers about providing a training there for how to interact with deaf and hard of hearing suspects or like if they pull over a deaf person, how to um, work with them and communicate with them. So that's kind of something I'm pursuing and kind of each place I'm kind of looking for opportunities on how to make like a follow-up project. I'll probably get more involved in something like the planning portion, but I'm really interested in the, uh, the CERT program, which is the, the Community uh, Emergency Response Team. So I didn't know we had that. Probably get involved in that in the next class after Everett Essentials ends. I know for sure I want to be a puppy petter. <laughs> I really like puppies at the shelter, so that was really nice. But I didn't know a lot about our wastewater treatment center and all that, and that was that was actually really interesting. And so I was being very cognizant the other day to make sure that all the grease went into the garbage and none went down the drain. Uh, me personally, uh, I, try, I would try to be involved more with the city. Uh, my initial thoughts, you know, um, helping the community, helping the people that I live with and around. Uh, now I was thinking of more into going in one of the committees on the cities, uh, volunteering my time just try to help with the more inputs, giving them insights from different perspective. This program, in learning about the different aspects of the city, Everett is so much more than I could have even imagined. So when I was saying, you know, I have a pride now, so much more pride in my city, it's because the more I learn about it, the more I realize what an amazing place it is. 
I really feel like I have a basic level of knowledge now of how cities work, they, how they function. And uh, so I would say that, you know, just, just uh, try to focus on ways that you can, you know, get in contact with people that, that run programs like these so you can go out and actually get your hands dirty and, and be a significant help to the city. I've been really impressed by everybody that I've met from the different departments, really high quality folks, a lot of exciting projects coming up for the city. I, like, I, I feel more excited than ever to live here so and work here. And I feel like the Everett Essentials is such an amazing program and a great stepping stone to just figuring out all the different aspects of our city that we may not experience on a daily basis unless you know we are actually already involved. So this is a great way to start for me. I am using this to kind of see where I would really like to volunteer. And so I've seen some really too many uh, options. So far, I found some things that interest me and I hope that one of these things will fit and, and I can help make a difference because I like our city. I want you guys to be able to keep doing this. This is so important in community building and just getting people engaged in the community. I cannot believe how many more programs we have that I didn't even know about. So many parks that we have I didn't even know about and I can't wait for next summer. I am very excited to pass along this information and I will continue to let people know how amazing this was so that we can keep it going. It's opened up my eyes to so many different things and meeting people and getting to know who to contact for these sort of things. Uh, there's a lot of information out there and we get a lot of information which we will be absorbing for quite some time with all the handouts. Thank goodness we can go back to them. And even if you think you, you know certain things or you know how things are or you just really don't know how hard everyone in Everett, everyone that works for the city is really working to make this a great place. I, I would recommend anyone take the Everett Essentials course that possibly could. You know, I think we all don't want to pay taxes and on and on, but when you actually get to kind of peek behind the curtain and see what all the money is spent on and how, it's amazing. I totally think that anybody who has any interest needs to take this course and find out what they can do because you will find something that you want to do after you've taken this course. Well, it's been a great experience so far. I'm surprised every week. <laughs>